Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and back to another Black Desert Online video. Today we're going to be taking a look at cooking. It's one of the first life skills that you can start doing in the game. And this is going to be more of a beginner's guide, but if you've been playing for a while, feel free to follow along. Leave some comments in the comment section for the newer players on stuff that I may or may not miss. And let me know what you guys think and if you would like to see some more guides like this one. Now, cooking is super easy to get into. You can start doing it as soon as you hit Velia, Heidel, doesn't really matter. In order to cook, you're going to need some basic things. You're going to need a cooking utensil, which you can get from the innkeeper here. He sells a basic cooking utensil with a durability of 100, or a Belenos traditional cooking utensil that has a durability of 500, but adds 5 seconds to your cooking time. Now, if you'll notice as well in his shop, you will have other basic items that you can buy that you'll need for recipes. And in order to be able to cook, you're going to need a residence. Um, I have this one right here. You come in and you can go to place mode and you place down your cooking utensils. And then you simply click on it. Anything that you've recently cooked is here. Anything that you know is here. And you literally just click on it put the ingredients in, and start cooking. It's really that easy. Now, when you're starting out cooking, probably the most beneficial thing for you to make is going to be vinegar and then pickled vegetables, simply because you can get all of the materials from vendors in-game, including the fruits and vegetables, so you don't have to worry about having nodes. You don't have to worry about buying stuff off of the market. However, if you've already started investing in some nodes, like you got potatoes or wheat going, there's nothing wrong with starting off making beer. That's what I think 99% of us that have been playing the game for a while started off on. Um, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Now, the advantage to doing the vinegar followed by the pickled vegetables and leveling up to professional level on your cooking is you can then make and turn in your imperial boxes for easy money on a daily basis. So when you start cooking, if you're new to the game, I would recommend doing this on an alt, um, not your main character. That way your main can stay wherever you leave off at, whether that be grinding or questing. And then you can just switch over to your alt in order to do this. Now, you can decide wherever you want to set up your little cooking setup, whether that be high Dell. A lot of people do it there just because you're so close to the innkeeper and the turn in for your imperial boxes and Heidel is very central to everywhere. But coming somewhere like Calpheon isn't bad either. Because like I said, making the pickled vegetables and the vinegar, you can get everything in game. And in Calpheon, if you come up here to your search button, type in fruit, and hit search, it brings up your fruit vendor, which is right here. You come talk to her, check out the shop, and you can buy strawberries or 700 silver each, or and paprika as well for the vegetable you need for the pickled vegetables, all from the vendor. So there's no bottleneck on crafting this recipe. So a lot of people choose to set up here in Calpheon as well um, for their cooking. And honestly, I probably would uh, currently using Calpheon to do production. Um, so right now I don't have that opportunity to set up here in order to cook. Now, as far as what nodes you need to pick up for cooking, the big ones that I recommend is the farm right here outside of Heidel for the honey production node and up at Velia, the farms for the chicken meat production because you get the byproducts of eggs, which is one of the bottlenecks. Now, if you are going to focus solely on cooking, you know, maybe do some support with gathering, but all of your nodes are going to be focused around cooking, feel free to get all of the cooking based nodes in the game. That way, if one thing becomes flooded on the market, you have the materials to focus something else if you are selling on the market. If you're going to kind of use cooking just to support your income to do imperial boxes, then I would kind of try to focus on making one thing. That way you have everything that you need so you get straight profit. Now, when it comes to processing boxes for imperial delivery, you can do them one at a time. Or you can come talk to this lady right here that's behind Jordine, which if you've done the main quest, you know exactly where this is at in Hydell. And you can come talk to her and get a quest to where we can process 10 boxes at a time. In order to do this, I believe you're going to need to be at least professional cooking. You're going to need to make sure you have your little life notification on down here. 
and you're going to have to be at least artisan processing in order to do this. So we talk to her, we pick up the quest, and then we have to show her 500 golden seals from the Imperial Delivery, which luckily I have those in my storage. Alright, I've got my 500 Imperial seals. Let's talk to her. And now I should be able to package 10 at a time. In order to do that though, you have to run up here and you have to ch see the Old Moon Guild Manager. So let's come talk to him. You have to buy this heavy-duty packaging cord. So let me go ahead and buy 17 of those. They're only a thousand silver each, so it's nothing. Can't, you don't even really count that in your profit cost, to be honest, whenever you package these. Now, whenever you do the Imperial Cuisine, you just hit L to open up your processing tab. Come over here to Imperial Cuisine. And if you are processing one at a time, you just click the food, you hit start and you'll start putting it together. Now this is something that you should do every single day because that makes it super easy to get extra money. And if you have completed the quest, you can hit the food and the rope, and then you can hit start and you will package 10 at a time, which is really, really nice. You can come talk to her. And one of the changes that they recently made is you have you still have your daily delivery quantity which is half of your total contribution but there's no longer a turn-in limit that's server based so you don't have to worry about getting screwed on that one and then one thing to remember as well is your mastery for cooking impacts how much money you can get so make sure you have your mastery as high as possible whenever you turn these crates in now, as far as what you need to get started cooking, you technically don't need anything. You can start out just bare bones and get started till you build some money up to then increase your gear. Now, you can see I don't have anything fancy. I've got tri uh, log gear, rings, and accessories. I've got a tri manos cook clothes. I do have the pearl shop costume because I have been playing this game off and on for a while and I bought it a while back. And then I have a plus three cook's clothes. If I'm kind of like semi-AFK cooking, I'll wear the cook's clothes. If I'm trying to set up to cook for long periods of time, then I'll wear the Manos cook clothes. It really just depends on what you're trying to do. If you're trying to min-max your experience, then you'll want the silver embroidered cook's clothes. You don't have to start with the plus three. Um, you can. They're not too bad now. But you can start you know, with a base one, plus one, plus two. Work your way up. If this is something that you want to go all in on and be dedicated to cooking for your life skill, then you'll want to get all manos to maximize your mastery. And the last thing that we're going to talk about is just where you can find your different crafting recipes. If you hit one or F1, excuse me, and you come up here to the top crafting notes, you can click on it, go over to cooking, and you can literally look through everything in the game that you can make. You know, you click on it tells you what you need to make it. You have, usually have a couple different options as far as stuff that you need. And that's it's that simple. I'll also leave a link in the description below for Video Day and Video Lytics as well. They are also very useful tools as far as cooking goes, but they're for a little more advanced, but they're pretty easy to understand. So feel free to go check them out. Well, that's gonna wrap it up for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. And I hope you guys have a great day.